Greetings fellow citizens of America. We are anonymous. This is a message to the Black Lives Matter movement, to American law enforcement officers, and to all citizens of our beloved country. It has come to our attention that some law enforcement officers wish to paint the Black Lives Matter movement as a criminal organization. These LEOs are blaming the despicable murders of their fellow officers on the movement. So, Anonymous steps forward today to bring clarity. The BLM movement was started in response to a broken justice system which takes advantage of the poor and underprivileged, the vast majority of which are black. This movement was not started nor has it become an anti-police movement. Obviously a major focal point in this movement is corrupt police, the methods they use, and those who allow this behavior. Part, but not the whole is most definitely dedicated to calling out bad LEOs and bringing them to justice. Other parts focus on political and social issues pertaining to the cause. Much of this has been done through community organization, by citizens who respect not only each other, but their fellow citizens in uniform. The BLM movement is non-violent. It is not a consensus that the police are an enemy of the people, nor is there a call to kill LEOs. Rather, it is an attempt to clean up corruption. Most BLM protesters do not hate cops, they only want bad cops to be called out and reprimanded. This is something you so-called good cops should have been doing the whole time. For years leading up to this LEOs have had plenty enough time to take care of their own. Though some have tried, the majority sit silent. Maybe that's because they don't want to end up like Frank Serpico, yet we say this, Mr. Serpico is a hero. This honor is not bestowed without strife. If you want to do good you must be willing to sacrifice. You knew the dangers of the job when you signed up. Quit crying like bratty children and do your jobs. Do this and reap the benefits don't and reap the consequences. It is that simple. Some of us were raised in law enforcement families. We have a deep understanding of what our fellow citizens in uniform go through, and furthermore we have much admiration and respect for those who wear the uniform with pride and do their job properly. We know there are certain unwanted elements within our society which seek to infiltrate and harness the power of any movement. We understand some criminals use causes such as BLM to conceal their activities and or rile others up against LEOs. But, we have also grown up listening to family members in law enforcement and their associates not only talk down our fellow citizens but brag about how they abuse them. We have listened to stories of LEOs that make super troopers and Reno 911 look like reality TV. Very seldom have we heard stories of an uplifting nature where they brag of how they truly helped another citizen in a selfless act of humanity. That said, you must understand we know you. How? Because you are human. Your uniforms and badges make you no better or worse than any citizen in this great nation. You are the same as all of us. Some of you are bad, and some are good. As it is all over, many so-called good people quietly mind their own business while the bad people in our society take advantage of the silence to get away with their unjust deeds. This is what the Black Lives Matter movement is all about. Showing all citizens that good people do not sit quietly. As citizens we have choices, good or bad, but a good citizen is an active citizen. It is not enough to talk to friends and family of current events. We must get out into the community to converse, find ways to progress and act upon them. We must gather the power of the righteous and clean up our society. This is our duty. Democracy is not a spectator sport. Law enforcement in general has sat by for too long not taking care of their own, so their fellow citizens will do it for them. You have had and still have an opportunity to embrace this movement to harness the energy as support of good policing. This is the time for all those supposedly good cops who were either too disheartened or scared to step up to now come forward. Your communities are ready to hear and support you. We are willing and able to help you clean up your departments. 
If you do so, not only will you shine as a true American hero, but you will find the quality of love and respect you so much deserve for your sacrifices and service to our communities. If you continue to remain silent, allowing fellow officers to bully a peace movement then you are just as guilty as they are. So, yes, all lives matter, but black lives still matter too. This will not go away and it is only phase two. Occupy was the beginning. The poor of all races are sick of how they are viewed and treated. We are not tools to raise city funding. We are not target practice for overgrown bullies. We are more than just statistics to manipulate. It is time for LEOs to retake the streets with their fellow citizens, not against them. Start patrolling on foot, and get into those neighborhoods which need it most. Hang out and talk with us. Don't try to buy us off with monetary items, converse with us on social issues. You might just make some friends and for once feel real community. If we lose some of you during this revolution we will hold you as heroes. None of us want you to be put in harm's way, but if needed it is what you are paid to do. Show us that you have courage, strength and loyalty and we will be here for you. Many of us fighting for this cause shed tears for all our citizens, LEOs included. We speak out and struggle to influence those with a lack of understanding, some help would be nice. We do not view LEOs as enemies, you are us and we are you. If we can see this, why can't you? If you can't, why are you wearing a badge to begin with? Law enforcement officers, this is your calling. This is your chance to make a difference. Your actions will either further undermine our justice system or help to repair it and regain the trust of the people. Your fellow citizens are not now nor have ever been your enemies. We are all being used by corrupt people in places of power. The rhetoric being spun right now is dangerous. If things get worse it is your fault, not that of protesters. You are paid to keep the peace, if you cannot do this, how is that the fault of others? Take responsibility and get the job done. If it isn't working out how you like, maybe you are doing it wrong. Those who participate and take the Black Lives Matter movement seriously have offered assistance in cleaning up a mess created by greed, the politicians it corrupts and the LEOs used to enforce false ideals of liberty, equality and justice. Most Americans and people all over the world can see this. For law enforcement officers to make protesters out to be the enemy is only cutting their noses off to spite their face. Those LEOs engaging in this rhetoric are dishonest and dangerous. No one has declared war on the police, but the police seem to be gearing up for a war with everyone. So, to our fellow activist and hacktivists, do not give up hope. Now is the time to push back even harder. We are winning and this new rhetoric is obvious proof of that. To our fellow citizens in uniform, those of you who are truly good need to step up. Those of you who are corrupt, we see through you. It's time to cut the crap and get real. Painting a peace movement as a criminal organization is dishonest and despicable. You don't like people calling police departments criminal organizations, so why do it to others? You are to be the example, not to retaliate like bullies. Your rhetoric only proves you are corrupt. Do not start a war with innocent and productive citizens. The odds are not in your favor. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive corruption. We do not forget fallen citizens. Expect us to take back America. You know why. Could mean a lifetime of difference for some of these kids. It was a nice little experience for me to play with the police because I like to play basketball a lot, so it would help me to get to the NBA a lot more so I can have more experience. And then, then out comes the. <laughs>